So the exhibition tells the story of a single animal, the Pliosaurus. Uh, we've nicknamed her Doris. It's based on an amazing fossil that we have here at Bristol Museum, an 8 metre long uh, specimen that's the only one of its species ever found in the world. So visitors will get to go back in time to Bristol 150 million years ago uh, to meet a life-size reconstruction of Doris. So the fossil has something really interesting about it, um, features that aren't usually seen in plasaur skeletons. But we've never had a real life modern day veterinary pathologist look at our plasaur fossil to gauge how this compares to living animals. So we invited Professor Jeff Pearson in from the Royal College of Pathologists and I think he was just stunned by how much the pathology that has been preserved in these fossil bones look like pathology he sees in the bones of animals living today. Stella mentioned the pathology, so nobody had really noticed those until Judith began to look at this specimen. And she discovered that um, various bones had got evidence of tooth marks and other damaging wounds. So this poor creature, when you look at it, if you've not seen it yet, was living in agony for its very long life. If we'd been able to go back and test the plasaur early on, perhaps we could have seen that there was arthritis and thought of a way to help that. And I think one thing people don't realise about pathology is it's not just diagnosing the cause of death, uh, but it's also about finding treatments and diagnosing what is wrong with people who are alive. The teams, everyone involved has made a journey possible where you track the life and history and tragedy of this massive marine predator that didn't live in the savannas of Africa or Argentina or somewhere far flung. It was really Sweden. It's a much wilder place than you might imagine. <laughs>